Hi, it's Tilly, and today we'll be making pauldrons using my pattern available on Etsy. I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to purchase them, and thank you so much in advance for your support. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them either in the comments below or via Etsy. There's also a corresponding PDF booklet that will guide you through the creation process. So let's get started. This pauldron set for a druid reflects the natural beauty and magic of the forest, while also serving as protection for the druid's adventures. A list of recommended equipment and materials are located in the PDF booklet. I'll also put them in the description below. First, we'll print out the PDF pattern. Then we can start cutting out. For the pauldrons, I would recommend using 4mm EVA foam. Hand trace the pattern onto 4mm EVA foam. Make sure to transfer the darts and the notches. Next, use a box cutter to carefully cut out the base on the cutting mat. For an easier fit, you can angle the cuts between the front and back pieces on each layer of the pauldron. Then cut out the darts. Once all the pieces are cut out, we can start gluing them together. First, put a thin layer of glue onto the dart sides. Once tacky, you can put them together. Once the darts are glued together, you can glue the front and back pieces together for each layer of the pauldrons. Don't forget to match up the notches. Allow these layers to dry. Once dry, dremel the darts and seams to help smooth everything out and correct any misalignment. I use a sanding band for this step. Please use proper equipment in this step, including a respirator and safety goggles. When dremeling, move in one direction and carefully align the edges. Brush off any dust and use a heat gun to smooth out the edges and shape. Then mix a paste of quick seal and a bit of water before coating the darts and seams carefully. This will help hide that seam. Allow them to dry. Next, glue the collar piece to the upper pauldron at the collar. The collar will be glued with the taller side to the back. Place the glue on the edge of the top layer of the pauldron. The collar will have glue along the bottom of the outside edge of the collar. Once everything is dry, match the corners of the upper and lower pauldron and glue the pieces together. Let the glue dry and use a heat gun to shape the pauldrons as needed around your shoulder if anything has become misaligned. Once dry, Plasti Dip each pauldron in the front and back. I recommend three coats of Plasti Dip. Please use proper safety equipment. Once dry, you can paint them as you desire. I recommend using acrylic paint and like the look of sponging the best, but this is the fun part where you can be as creative as you want. Seal the paint with acrylic paint seal. Optionally, you can add details such as leather decor, moss, or other fun materials to make it your own. I decorated it with suede cording by cutting small holes around the edges of the pauldrons. Then I looped suede through each hole and glued the ends to secure. Then add a closure. I recommend snaps at the front neck, back neck, 
and shoulder blade that you can attach to your tunic, outfit, whatever you are making, so that way it corresponds. And with that, they're complete. Enjoy your pauldrons and good luck on your adventure. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. To show off your hard work, tag me at Tilly Boom Cosplay. I'd love to see your finished pieces. Thank you, and I will see you next time.